today's workout is gonna work your booty. I don't know how much beach time we're gonna get this summer with the quarantine and the pandemic, but when it's beach day, your booty is gonna be ready after you do this workout. So go ahead, get your mat, and let's get burning. Begin on your back with your knees bent, feet and knees hip width distance apart. And now roll your hips up towards the ceiling or sky if you're outside like me and lower back down. Immediately we're gonna to start to engage our booty and the backs of the legs by reaching the heels down. And our weight is evenly placed between all 10 toes, maybe a little bit more between the first and the second toe. Just make sure we're not rolling onto the outside of the feet. As I lower and lift my hips, I'm really thinking of keeping my abs pulled in and my arms are pressing down into the mat, but not letting any tension get in my neck and my shoulders. Two more. Drive the heels down to the ground, lifting the toes up and keep moving. We're gonna do full 10 here. And really just take notice of how this may feel deeper engagement in your glutes or your hamstrings. Just bring in more awareness to how that subtle change can make your body feel. For an added challenge, you can reach your arms up towards the sky, fingertips over shoulders. And we'll do our last 10 on our toes. I have a tendency to kind of roll onto my baby toes here, so really make sure your weight is shifted more towards the second and first toe. Last three, two, and one. One, lower the hips down, lower the arms down, heels down, and now lift the hips up for another challenge. Reach your right leg straight up towards the ceiling and lift the hips up and down 10 times, really reaching through that left leg down into the ground for support. And if this is too much of a challenge, just go ahead and lower that foot back down and continue doing the lifts with both feet on the ground. Switch legs. I also like to think of my hips really lifting equally, both of them up on the same level. Sometimes I can lower one hip down if I'm feeling a little bit more tired. And for an added challenge, you can always lift that heel up as well. Hug both knees in and rock yourself up. We're gonna turn onto our side now. Bring your legs to a 90 degree angle and lifting the top foot up. And I'm reaching back to a 45 degree angle, tapping the toe down and up and around to the front, back to the 45 degree angle, knees together. really think of making like a big rainbow shape with your toes as you reach it up and around. There will be some movement in the hips, but do think of keeping your hips stacked one on top of the other and the abdominals pulled in as much as you can. One hand back behind the head or two hands back behind the head. This is more challenging for the core. And if you're up for it, go for it. I love this flow here because I feel like I'm getting a good stretch to my hips all the way around as well, still tightening that tush. 
last one. Flex the foot up 10 times. I'm really feeling a burn to the back of my glutes here and on the side of my hip. Three, two, one. Other side, flip it around. You may feel as you move to the second side that it feels tighter or has more mobility through the hips as you move the leg. And that's completely normal. Most people have imbalances, but Pilates is such an amazing method for bringing equality and balance to both sides of the body. Filming this outside on slightly uneven ground and rocks beneath is an extra challenge to the core and keeping that balance on my side. So if you're up for it, go ahead and do this outside. It's a nice little change of pace for sure. Definitely kept me much more engaged than usual with this extra challenge. Can be really challenging to keep the legs straight in this last series if you need to softly bend the knee it's okay or you can move the leg a little bit less of a 90 degree angle and more to 45 degrees okay on to our last series and our booty burn you're gonna come onto all fours hands under shoulders knees under hips reach one leg back point the toes reach up tap down and now bring the knee in towards the chest and reach out up down, knee in, and reach. As I begin to get tired towards the end, I always wanna make sure that my abs and my chest are pulled up. I do this by pressing my hands into the ground to get more lift through the upper body. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's do the last side. This is a great move, not just for the booty and the back of the leg, but also for the front of the hip, because every time you lift that leg up, it's a stretch to the front of the hip. And so it really is just really nice to balance out strengthening from behind, but stretching from the front. Last pulse. Four, three, two, and one. Stretch it back, you deserve it. Okay, last challenge. And now open it out to the side, straighten and bend. As I lift my leg out in that bent 90 degree angle, I'm really thinking of lifting from underneath the leg and then reaching that leg out to the side with a controlled kick. And finish with 10 pulses in that 90 degree angle. It is not a cute position, but it gets the job done. Let's switch sides. Really lift that knee up as high as you can as you kick it out to the side.
two more. Now pulse. And stretch back. Let's just stretch out the hips and the glutes a little bit, bring one knee on top of the other, and then just relax your torso forward. Stretch over to the side. Switch legs. pretty good my booty feels a little bit more lifted which I like for like the rest of the day after a booty workout so if yours does like the video leave a comment and subscribe because there's gonna be more videos just like this to get you beach ready this summer all right see you later